What's up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be going over how to make a simple run command that whenever you send a command through Discord, it will execute the command and return the output through Discord. So you can use the same layout or the same code that, that I have shown you guys in the first episode. I just accidentally deleted that, so I remade it real quick. It might not look the exact same, but it's the same in concept. So let's get started. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to start with making a simple command handler. It's going to be extremely basic, with no like variables or prefixes, etc. So let's get started. So we're going to start with client, to the Discord client, dot on, message, async message, and you can define this with whatever you would like the message to actually like use as a variable. I just use message because message it's easier. So now if we do that, we're going to create what the arguments are. And arguments are basically anything that we're going to have after the prefix and the command that's run. So in this case, we'll do let args equals message dot content dot split and then a space and then dot slice one. So this will basically split it so that every argument that you use is going to be split based on like the space. So we how to type hi and hello. This would be argument one, and there's a space, this would be argument two. So now if we make a really simple command, we'll do if message.content dot starts with and then dot run command. Then we'll execute everything inside of these brackets. So how we're going to do it is with our message function here, we're going to read the output that it gets whenever you run the command. Okay, so let's start with what we actually want to send as the command. So let to send equals r dot join space. So what this will do is for every single argument you have, because like I said, every single word is going to be a different argument. You want to join them all with the space so that it turns into a long string. So if I were to put dot run command hello hi, it would join those into one string hello hi. So it's able to send everything that you've sent at once. And now we'll catch that with if no to send. So if there's not any data that it's sent, if they didn't put any arguments, then it will return message.reply no cards. So that's basically a simple catch to make sure you're actually sending physical data. Okay, so now that we have that defined as to send, what we're going to do is we're going to run pod.chat and then to send. So now whenever you run the command, if you have valid arguments, it will chat the in-game bot to send. And then we can put message.channel.send message.author.tag just sent. And then we'll say that they sent to send. So now you run the command, it will chat the command, it will say, okay, the tag of the person who sent that sent yada yada and now we're going to create the actual response to the discord so whenever we run that command we're going to want to turn first actually we'll define a variable sending equals false then we'll put let chat data equals an array so now we can have after you send that to the bot you can use sending equals true and then we will be, we'll be able to use that to read the message from the bot so we can have this as if sending equals true and then we'll push the chat data to the array so chat data dot push and then we'll push the actual message so message and there we go so now whenever you run the command it will turn sending a true and then this will read okay sending is not true it will push the message to the chat data and then we can add a set timeout down here of we'll just do 750 milliseconds and then we'll set sending equals false and then we'll do bot or sorry, it will be message.channel.send. And then we'll just put the 
actual array data that was pushed. So we can do chat data dot join a space. Or we can actually do it with a new line. So what that will do is whenever the chat data is pushed to the array, there could be multiple values. So each value will be sent on a different line. So if there was like multiple chats that are, that are sent back to the bot, it will join them all with multiple ends. And then lastly, we'll clear the array with chat data equals clear. So there we go. Okay, so now that our bot is done, we should be able to test it out. So if we run it with node index.js, should say bot online. There we go. Now if we dot run command slash heroic. There we go. We can see it output the exact chat this sent. So let's say that I would run slash f list. There we go. It outputs the f list from the chat. If we were to do say dot run command slash just random things. You'll say unknown command. So there we go. That's a very simple run command. It outputs the chat data, etc. And yeah. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, make sure to subscribe and like the video and comment down below some other suggestions of things I should add to the bot, etc. And thank you for watching.